Hello, good morning, children. Today we are going to talk about electricity for a comfortable life. Electricity for a comfortable life. Today we are going to talk about electricity for a comfortable life. Now you can see people in those days washed clothes by hands. But today we wash clothes using washing machines. People in the past use cook food using firewood. But today we cook food using electricity. Electricity. Now we will see how electricity is generated. We can generate electricity using dynamo, using solar cells, using dry cells. We can see them now. In your textbook, there is an activity how electricity is produced using lemon fruit. Here we use copper sheet as the positive term and zinc sheet as the negative term. What is the observation? The bulb light up. If you connect a galvanometer instead of the circuit, what may be your observation? The galvanometer show deflection. Now you can see a picture of a galvanometer. Galvanometer is a sensitive device used to identify and measure a small current in the laboratory. Now this is another method of generating electricity. Electricity can be generated with a coil of wire. Move the bar magnet inside the insulated copper coil and observe. What may be your observation? Galvanometer show deflection. Where are the places that electricity generated in this manner? In bicycle dynamo, generators, hydropower stations and wind power stations. The scientist Michael Faraday was the first to discover that an electric current is generated by moving a magnet inside a coil of wire. Above diagram shows a model of a small hydropower station. Here the motor operates as a simple dynamo. Following shows different types of power stations and methods. Hydropower station, method of production. Fix a dynamo to a large turbine and rotate the turbine with the help of a stream of water. Location Kotmale, Lakshapana, Victoria, Gantabe, Randenigala. Wind power station. Rotate a dynamo. With the help of a wind vane. Hambantuta Uttaram. Coal power plant. Fix a dynamo to a turbine and rotate the turbine with the help of steam. Nagachal. Fuel power plants. Rotate a dynamo with an engine. Calentis. This is a picture of a Hydropower Station Mr. D.J. Vimala Sugendra was the first to find that it was possible to generate hydropower in Sri Lanka. So one of the hydropower stations in Sri Lanka was named by his name, Electric Cell. What can you observe in this experiment? Bulb light up for a short time and air bubbles evolve. There are two types of cell, chemical cells. Those are primary cells and secondary cells. Now you can see some pictures of primary cells. 
chemical in these cells are exhausted in use and after a certain period of time they become inactive this type of cells can be recharged this simple cell used in activity 8.4 in your book uh, also belong to this type dry cells wrist watch batteries certain camera batteries comes under primary cells now you can see secondary cells in these cells chemicals of these cells to get exhausted and become inactive after a certain period of time but they can be recharged by supplying electricity to them so we can use them for a longer period car batteries or let us it accumulator mobile phone batteries and certain torch batteries comes under secondary cells i hope you could understand how electricity is important to our lives we'll meet on next day with another lesson bye